from KALW, this is Sights and Sounds, your weekly guide to the Bay Area art scene through the eyes and ears of local artists. I'm Janae Darton. My guest this week is author Ying Chang Kapastein. Hey, Ying. Hey, how are you doing? Good, I'm so happy you're here. Ying wrote the children's book, Rapunzel and the Sneaky Tofu. It's a retelling of Rapunzel, but with a Chinese cuisine twist. And right now we're gonna hear Ying's our suggestions for things to see, hear, and do around the bay. First up is the Asian Art Museum in San Francisco. The museum celebrates and preserves Asian and Asian American culture. We've had them on before. They have great exhibits. One of the current exhibits is called Murakami Monsterized. Japanese artist Takahashi Murakami reimagines monsters to reflect how society behaves in an ever-changing world. Ying, I know this is a favorite place for you to go. Tell us why you like going there. Any favorite memories at the museum? I love the museum because you can see so many wonderful Asian art and the culture. Also, they have a library. It's almost like a display downstairs. The one exhibit is the hell. I write a poor story to one my uh, YA law who a bank for hungry ghosts is a ghost story. Mm-hmm. And I often is fascinated what this hell look like. And that one just, yeah, beyond my imagination. We had a curator on from Asian Art Museum about that hell exhibit. So people can go back and listen to that online. But in the meantime, they can go visit the Asian Art Museum now for the Murakami Monsterized Exhibit, which ends on February 12th. And your next pick is the Big Basin Redwood State Park in Santa Cruz. The area was established in 1902, making it California's oldest state park. It's home to giant redwood trees, and they can grow to be more than 50 feet tall. Also, there's many hiking trails, and people might see some of their favorite animals, maybe a deer or raccoon roaming around. Ying, tell us more. I know you are a nature girl. Tell us more about this park and why did you choose it? Oh, the park is just amazing. You can walk miles at a time. It's so quiet. It's like you're in another world. As a creative person, I think anyone you want, to, it's almost like a, a therapy for yourself. You have to be in nature. That's where creative comes from. Put your phone away, just by yourself, in the nature. Idea will just come through. You know, I always tell people, I never had a writer's block. That's because I spend a lot of time in nature, hiking, and that park just is one of my favorite. They're just so big and it's not never crowded. You can you just feel like you're the only person in the world and in that big wonderful space. Okay, I'm a I, I need to go there, especially since you said that's why you don't have writer's block. So <laughs> So the beauty and not having writer's block is a draw for me. That's the big basin Redwood State Park in Santa Cruz. And your final pick is Linden Tree Books in Los Altos. This is a family-run children's bookstore, and I would have loved to go to something like this as a kid. Linden Tree does carry some books for adults. They also host author signings, writing workshops, birthday parties, and many other social gatherings. Ying, I love reading and grew up with the book always in my hand. Tell us more what you like about this bookstore. And you're a children's author, so I'm not surprised you picked this one. Yeah, I love the store. Not only just the store, also the community. It just feels so well welcome. This the community puts so much emphasis in the kids' education or literature. The the reason I say that is on my last book signing, it was on a very cold, cold, almost like a rainy morning. And I just thought that there's no one going to come. The event was outdoor. All the other kids were sitting outside the bookstore. And I saw all the you know, when I walked there, I said, who in the world is going to come Saturday morning inside a cold day for book signing or reading? I was surprised. It was like a huge crowd. Some people didn't even get the seat. It was like a sound of like standing room on me. Wow. And afterwards, I met those parents. I talked to those kids and I just feel 
what a wonderful community, what a wonderful bookstore. You know, the, all the independent uh, bookstore in Bay Area, it's just wonderful. They really serve like a community center, bring everyone together. Definitely support your independent bookstore. And that's Linden Tree Books in Los Altos. I've been speaking with author Yin Chang Kapistein. Her children's book, Raw Puzel and the Stinky Tofu, is available now. To learn more about any of the things you heard about today, visit KALW.org and make sure to subscribe to the Sights and Sounds podcast, which is available wherever you get your podcasts. This episode of Sights and Sounds was produced by Perfirio Wrangle and engineered by James Rollins. I'm Janae Darden. Thank you.